raid. What is it? It's a mech raid. Oh my god, is that all Scythers? Jesus, I think it is. It's all Scythers. And they're going to prepare for a while, so we're going to pull this one down here that's close by first. Uh, we have a jogger. I need to keep track of who it is. Jogger, jogger, there you are. Jogger, sure happy. Perfect. Let's go. Good luck. Good luck, Zidian. Oops, all Scythers. Had their eye cut out, their nose shattered, and their right thumb cut off. Well, Tally, I'm sorry. <laughs> why, why me? Might be Zidian in the future. Who needs a nose or an eye? Um, this is actually kind of scary. It's not a huge percentage, but it's technically possible for an infestation to spawn, spawn there. I'll worry about that. A little worried. I mean, it's already there, so like we can literally have an infestation right now. If the overhead mountain fit on a single collar, might be able to collapse it. We can collapse some of it, but I'm I'm feeling like most of this is overhead mountain, right? So that's a lot of it. I can't build walls, Finn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no walls. Make a bridge, but a bridge doesn't block an infestation. Can you mess with pathing by using trees? Yeah, I can mess with pathing several ways, but I'm not going to. Um, I could I could do bridge with barricade on it, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot I'd have to do. I couldn't do this part. I could cheese it by putting a bridge there and just putting spots on all of it. Ah, we will be fine. What's a 20, 20 hive spawn there? Thrumbo. Three thrumbo. Okay. Might kill those. Let's see where they go. All right. Uh, during the daytime, we'll go shoot those. Nor barricades on open field or only if the overall movement is lower than on the unobstructed path. So they will take the shortest path. So if you have, let's say we had like an entire giant area of barricades and the center wasn't barricade, they would run down the center. Yeah. Let's say we had like a, a pattern of barricades. Like, let's say we had them like this, just as an example. You have barricades every other spot. And then the middle, you don't have any. Raids are going to choose to run down that. You can even checkerboard it. Yeah, whatever. I'm not I'm not wanting to do that right now. We might get to the point where I have to do stuff like that, but right now I'm just trying to outpace the raids by just getting more firepower. Yeah, I think uh I think we'll get to the hospital bed. We'll throw one of those down. We'll get one that's better at surgery because we already have a surgery hit from being outdoors and it being dirty. And then we're gonna start mass producing vat babies and giving them assault rifles. <laughs> I'm tempted to get some more research benches down. Travelers requesting 70 herbal medicine. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, we betrayed them. We did this. We did this. It was us. This was this was us. They asked herbal medicine, already had herbal medicine on them. Yeah. Jerks. Hashtag scammers here. Sky God, what do you have to say about this? I'm always down for rabies. Syphilis? Not so much. Alright, we're just gonna leave Sky God alone for now. Commandment 4401. Put the baby in the pleasure tube. No, Sky God, that's how you get babies. A raid. Oh, I'm so tired of mech raids. Why? It's all scythers again, but it's a triple scyther hit this time. Oh my god. Oh, 
the other one's too long, too far away to like go kill ahead of time. Muzz got a little bit of friendly fire there. Ooh, crap. A little bit, yeah. We didn't even really use the children. Not, not a lot. So fast other than a fight. Thanks. When I rewatch it, I always feel like I'm going slow. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Like when I like when I watch the edited version and I, I'm doing stuff like this and I watch it back, I'm like, oh man, why wasn't I faster? I could have I could have split those more and that person wouldn't have even, even gotten hurt. I forgot about Italia. I could have ran her towards the other turret. She wouldn't find. But, it, you know, in, in the moment with no pause, it's very hard to hard to do that. But we're good. We're good. We mainly just lost um, another finger. And that was to friendly fire. Why not let the doctors carry medicine? I could at this stage. So I didn't because early on we had so little medicine. At this stage, I, I should probably do it, honestly. Um, but yeah, that, the reason I didn't is early game. I didn't want them to be uh, the only ones that were able to go grab medicine if we needed something. But with so many colonists now, we can do that. Lost the middle finger. She was flipping off. The, <laughs> she was flipping off the scyther as it was ripping her apart. Like, oh, not this again. Does herbal medicine decay in inventory? I don't know, actually. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure if it would spoil in that same 2.2 years. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting question. All right, it's festival time again. But let's let them get these um, turrets back up. Those turrets have actually been really important. Without those, those scythers would have been uh, probably game over. Honestly, it was held aggro for so long. No, you could tell them to carry medicine. That was a 1.3 change, so it's been in the game for about a, a year and a half. Uh, a recent change, too, has changed it so that... Oh, infection on both of them. Uh, anyway, a recent change with 1.4 made it so that when you draft in, you can select to use either medicine or no medicine when they're draft tinted. Barricades around the turrets are good. Yeah, they can absorb some missed shots from the, from the enemy, yeah. 81%. But the downside is if they destroy the turret, then the enemy has that cover. All right, let's do a ritual. We're looking for a joint event that's not a child. Someone that can fight who isn't a child. <laughs> All right, Frank. No one names a child Frank. Frank's just spawned into the world as adults. There's never been a child named Frank. See? Ooh, shooting specialist. Right this way, sir. Right this way. Stay behind me. The shooting specialist is going to be in the back the entire time. Nice. Excellent. Way to go. All right, social, sign a roll, no scoper. Very nice. Who do we want to be at his coordination? How about a bunch of children? Bunch of children. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, be... All right, another shooting specialist. Let's uh, group him up with the other shooting specialist. There we go. It's going to help a whole lot, a whole lot. Uh, all right, again. Sounds like a middle school dance. Arfi. Speaking of dogs, Arfi sounds like a dog name. Arfi, are you a Itikin? 28 year old, slow learner. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ouch. One of the worst, worst traits in the game, slow learner. It basically is no learner. It's no learner. What you see is about what they'll always be in reason. Um, but you know what? They can hold a gun. So they can hold a place in our colony. Uh, what is Bossy's construction? It's only four. I guess we'll have Answer. What else is Answer doing? We're not really cooking, right? So we would lose out on their mining, but we have other miners. So Answer might become a production specialist as well. All right, children, gather around. All right, Answer. Let's get uh, an excellent hostile better, better. Welcome back. Not too good answer. No legendary, okay? 
has to work a little bit better than I wanted, but... Okay. What's calling wealth at? I think we're at about 110, 115, something like that. Yeah, 113. Sorry, Bella. It's really good of the colony. You'll understand. Bella understands. She's only 17, but she'll understand. She'll understand. Inspired surgery on Jack. Oh, good timing. Excellent timing. Operation. Is it water in the knee? Operation. Is it ovum in the... You know what? I'm just going to stop right there. All right. An ovum. An ovum. Who is going to be the papa? All right, buddy. Fertilize the ovum. Can it produce a legendary ovum? No. <laughs> All right, he fertilized it with hearts over his head right near Bella while people gathered around to watch. You know, there's not a lot of entertainment on the rim. Not a lot of entertainment. Is there a party going on? There is, okay. <laughs> we we had the surgery right in the middle of the party. We threw a party to watch the fertilization, yeah. Weird. All right, we got a little bean there, a little bean. Bolt goods trader. All right, I guess we'll finally do these. Kind of don't like to. Uh, I gotta be careful because we are starting to pump out vats. So, it's all this junk clothing here. Let's grab the advanced component and as many of their normal components as we can get. That's good enough. Wanderer, McCall. Come on, McCall. 11. Growth tier 1 at age 11. Great memory. Prime candidate to go in the next tube. Twenty-eight manhunting elephants would literally kill our run. That's kind of scary. That's a one-star quest. Oh man. I'm thinking we might end up using some more turrets because they're just so good at holding aggro while we're doing this. I just gotta make sure I put them in a way that we can um, we can shoot from between them without getting shot in the back. You know? Why not add the barricades around that? I talked about that earlier. They're they're basically here to pull aggro, right? As, as meat shields, metal meat shields. But if I do put um, barricades around them, they will absorb a little bit more fire. They'll absorb missed shots better. But the downside is once the enemy destroys them, they then have cover on us. So it's a trade-off and I'm not sure which way I want to go yet. Why have we done this? You got this. Nana. Nana, you got this. There's actually a power cell left. For now. <laughs> Nana's sick of it. They're leaving. Nope. Dead. Boom. Headshot. It's rough. Suze might get out of here, though. Uh-oh, Suze. Uh-oh. Suze. Ooh, that was a close one. I was about to get line of sight again. <laughs> Favorite and least favorite part of having content creation as your job? My favorite part, I guess I would say, is that I do get to play games for a living. I get to be home. And I get to talk to people all over the world, you know? Different point of views, different countries, all kinds of stuff like that. So that is all really awesome. The downside, well, there's obviously downsides of being self-employed. I won't go into those ones. Those, there's some pretty big downsides and big swings to it. Some months are really good for income. Some months are terrible. And I have to think about that and kind of average it out what we can and can't do. I guess the downside, at least for me right now, is that I'm working probably like three times as much as I did when I was managing a call center. And I mean, it's work. I know a lot of people will look and be like, oh yeah, playing games, such work. But I am just doing stuff all the time. I'm making guides, I'm, you know, getting the stuff edited, I'm doing two YouTube channels, I'm doing emails and keeping Discord up and doing two streams a day. So that's one of the downsides is just like the amount of hours that I'm putting in. It's a lot of work, it's a, it's a fun job, but it's still a job. And I guess another downside is like, I have to, I have to treat it like a business. So like, here's an example. If there's something I wanna play off stream, the first thing I think of when a new game it comes out that I'm really looking forward to, like God of War or something like that. It's not anymore like, oh man, I can't wait to play that. It's immediately, can I play that on stream? Should I play that on stream? If I don't play that on stream, when am I going to play it? I'm never going to play it. You know, there, there's a lot of like business thought with all the streaming and game stuff. Even just as a hobby, it could be a lot of work. You know? but anyway, it's a, it's a fun job, but it's still a job for sure. Quick sleeper. Oh, look how lucky we got. Quick sleeper, great memory, vat child. Never taught anything in his life. Tara. Welcome in, Tara. 
Uh, I'm sure it was someone using a VPN or something. And you've probably seen it before. Occasionally, like, someone will have a viewer where it shows they're in, like, North Korea. So if you look on my, like, lifetime stats, one time I had one person tune in from North Korea. So it was either the dictator himself or it was someone who used a VPN, which I'm sure. But it's really funny to look at those stats and be like, hang on a second. Kim's watching just one time. He was trying to fill... Oh, man, that's terrible to say. He was trying to figure out kill boxes. It's like, does the singularity work in real life? Does the singularity work in real life? No. Okay. The downside is he has the singularity box facing south and it no longer works facing south in 1.4. So I guess he's screwed, man, if he's pointing it towards South Korea. Sorry, Kim. Not sorry at all, actually. <laughs> That's why Tynan nerfed it. Tynan made the singularity not work facing south anymore so that Kim couldn't use it against South Korea. It all makes sense now. Thanks, Tynan. A hero. An abs actually a war hero, Tynan. Mining and industrious, nice. Met cluster. I don't know how close it is. Let's just look. Oh, met cluster is getting bigger, guys. This one's not one we have to deal with, though. Not really. Let's see. There's no telling what's in the met castle or the drop pods. Mech assembler is just pikemen. We did it. We did this. Nice. We have uh, destroyed the met cluster. We did this. Excellent. Way to go, team. Way to go. We don't need prostitution because it lowers hope. Wow, Sky God against prostitution. Who could have seen that coming? I, for one, am shocked. Absolutely shocked. Four days. Oh no, sick vat birth. Crap. This baby might be dead. Uh, they got, they rolled major also. That's unfortunate. Let's see how it goes though. So basically we need this to reroll into something other than major. Something below, not grave. 100% tending is good, though. Another one! Oh, no. Terrible rolls. Terrible rolls. So much for our vat-grown army, I suppose. Ah, we can just make more. 39% tending. Oh, uh, they're a major as well. It's almost as if I'm performing all my procedures outside in the dirt. Almost, yeah. Sick baby. That's a sick baby you got there. Thanks, I made it myself. Hey, don't be crying. Hey, someone stop that baby from crying. None of that crap. What? This one's crying now, too? Well, you're only gravely ill. Eel. Eel. That's right. Sorry, please come out. <clears throat> gravely ill and about to die. They're ill. They ain't gonna make it. Dirt ovum and public dirt fertilizations might be a contributing factor. Just shake it like you're shaking car keys. Yeah. What? You're, you're already wanting... That one rolled to minor. Very good. You just... Got shaken. The play need is full, but it's still crying. What could you possibly need? Why are you upset then? Slept in the cold? Get used to it, baby. Get used to it. <laughs> Alright. Enough vacationing, vat baby. I wasn't vacationing. I almost died. Suck it up and get back in the tube. Keep an eye on that one. Keep an eye on that one. Did you ever build a poker table or a billiards? Yeah, it just depends on when they need it, but... Basically, you, just, you wait and see when they need it, and then you, you build it. Like, there's no reason to build it ahead of time. I mean, the po the billiards does give a little bit of shooting experience, but it's like, it's next to nothing. But generally, just uh, as long as you're not um, super high wealth, or you have, like, royals or someone with higher expectations, you're usually fine just waiting for quite a while. And uh, getting a, a telescope builds pretty big one as well so you just get a telescope and usually don't need anything else for quite a long time eventually we'll have to add more recreation but not yet not yet stupid lightning randy decided nope it's time for this to wake up now all right well does that mean they'll attack us now nope but it means this is going to produce three more mechs that we're gonna have to deal with no, hopefully that'll eventually hit a raider. Legendary Jade statue is better to keep or sell and keep a lesser one. You're gonna love this answer, show enough, but it depends. Like, how far into the game are you? What difficulty are you playing on? I will tell you that if you're not already at raid cap, a legendary Jade statue is going to give you a lot of raid points. So if you can handle the extra raid, then awesome. The, the beauty that will give to an area or a room it's kind of going to overcap the, the beauty in the area, actually, but 
I mean, if you can survive the extra raids, put that somewhere that people are going to be around a lot to give them the beautiful environment or gorgeous environment buff, depending. Welcome back. And it can be a pretty Your awesome mood beacon in a way. But, uh, yeah. It's going to come with uh, some extra raiders. How do you check whether or not you're a raid cap? Uh, there's a mod for it, or you just know. I played so much and whatnot that I, I just know the raid caps, especially with how I play. Use dab mode. There's a mod that displays the points. I, I just know from experience. When you're in game, you can handle it. It's in the rec room now and only hits them there. Always appreciate the help. Yeah, if you can handle the extra raiders, it's a, it's a good one. Like a great place to put it also, show enough, if you have a kill box, you can actually put it where your shooter is going to get the gorgeous environment buff um, while they're near the statue. That can be great because that's one of those pressure points where they might break down, you know? How do you feel with the impid tribe in the late game? They keep sprinting through your melee ponds. The fire spew might be the reason. Well, impids are tribal, so I don't mind. Like in the late game, I want, I would like every raid to be an impid raid because they're tribal and they don't have armor and I just rip them apart. But again, you might be playing differently. You might have different weapons that you're relying on or a different pawn count or something like that. But yeah, I would rather late game raids honestly be to be in, in bids. <laughs> that would be my, my ideal late game raid would be tribals of any sort. Is it worth building an outdoor rec area next to the kill box? I really like making the, the area that you stand in the kill box into a room. You can have open doors behind it, but making it into a room um, and then like trying to make that area where they're standing impressive. Yeah, they get a mood boost from it. Have I ever played with an uncap mod? No, because I feel like it would just lag like crazy. I mean, I guess kind of. We did a Winston Waves, a set of Winston Waves runs. And Winston Ra Waves could roll 25,000 raid points and then have a modifier that doubles it. So I guess technically I did play with one that has a different raid cap, but it was a storyteller. Christ. The turrets are down. We might just uh, low shield this. Okay, okay. They yo-yoed in time. It was close. <laughs> now the turrets go back up. All right, perfect. Great. All right, I'm going to move this stuff. I'll move it into the beautiful area here. Okay. Our poor research speed, man. 62%. <laughs> Another... What is this deal with mech clusters, man? I really don't want mech clusters. Send me tribals. An auto mortar. 13 days. Oh, I'm so sick of mechs, man. Lancer, pikeman, scyther. This is actually an easier mech cluster than the previous one. Construction failure. That's probably going to happen over and over. Surely he'll be able to build this within five days, right? Like, yeah, it's pretty high, especially with a column, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Flashstorm could actually wake this up. I feel a story generator incoming. <laughs> Come on, Randy, don't do it, man. All right, we're good. All right, see ya. See you later. He's a hero. <laughs> Bring you in. <laughs> All right, cool. <sighs> nice. Excellent. It's a roof and cannot fire. No problem. <laughs> Look at that roof. <laughs> but no, you can build within um, outside of five tile radius and uh, you're good. All right, that's as big as that cluster is getting. So that's our third that cluster. Well, let's see. We had two different all scyther attacks, two mech clusters. I guess that one was last stream. Man. What's psychic bond? That is something with the high mate. So the high mate can psychically bond with one partner uh, and it gives a plus 12 mood boost to both of them. And it also increases their uh, consciousness by 15%. As long as they're on the same map together. If they're apart, even like just gone on a um, caravan or something, they'll actually get a, a negative raid. That's a breach. It is a pirate breach. 
No explosives, but pirates still. See that dodge on that Molotov? <laughs> that was pretty close. That was pretty close, I gotta say. I gotta admit, that was pretty close, that, that dodge. It's all good, though. You wanna strip in for flak? I think we already made our own, right? Or maybe I didn't start on flak yet. No, no, I have flak yet. Uh, we'll just allow the things. Did I set up flak? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, okay. I thought I set that up last stream. Apparently not. Uh, make flak vest. X is one. Fifty-one percent or better. Normal or better. And uh, bossy. There we go. Explain a bit more your gameplay, especially during gunfights. Um, do you mean like while it's happening? It's really hard to do it while it's happening because I have no pause, right? So, like. Pretty much all my concentration is on on the fighting, but uh, I, yeah, it's really going to be hard to narrate when I'm doing like 300 APM bullcrap. Lose your touch? <laughs> no, no, I never had super crazy APM when even when I was playing Brood War competitively. Again, it was like North America competitive. It wasn't like I was competing with, you know, like Flash or someone, you know. Um, so my APM back in the day was like. 220 to 240 depending on game length, I guess. Yeah, I, I won't be able to do it in this kind of playthrough. I'm sorry. The the nature of not having any walls or kill boxes or or uh choke points or anything like that is like I'm really like fully concentrating on what I'm doing. But basically there I was just making sure I split people so that stray shots couldn't hit extra people. Uh, I was trying to make sure that turrets were out first so that they pull aggro. Had someone with a shield belt running in front trying to pull some shots. I was trying to select a few people at a time to, to fight or kill people that were getting close with chain shotguns. I was trying to pull people out of the way of explosives. Um, there was a lot of little things going on. I mean, you could always like go look at the VOD or the clip of it if you want and like slow it down or something. But it, yeah, it'll be really hard for me to explain all that while, while I'm doing it with no pause, but... Vagabonds. Uh, this could be bad. They could actually pull the mechs. I did end up going back a couple years ago. People convinced me to do a campaign, a nostalgia campaign playthrough of Brood War. Starcraft Brood Wars, the campaign. And that's up on YouTube, yeah.